let's add some XP drops to our ore. Fortune Fabric courses with advanced topics such as entities, custom structures, and 3D armor models linked in the description below. Alright, fans, I was back in the challenge once more. In this tutorial, we're going to be adding custom XP drops to our ore block. So, for that, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our mod blocks class and we're going to go way up all the way back to our citrine ore right here. And what we're going to do before we change this, we're going to press the shift key twice and we're going to search for the ore block right here and making sure that this includes non project items. And then here, we're going to find the ore block, which you can see as a uniform int parameter, which we can use to specify the experience range that is dropped from this particular block. Now our citrine ore in this case actually is not the best example of this because this of course dro drops the raw citrine. However, what we can do is we can still just check this for an example here. We can make this a new ore block. And then after the block behavior properties, we're gonna make a uniform int of, and then we're gonna do three and seven because this is the default that all of the different blocks have. We can actually take a look at this. So if a middle mouse button click on this constructor, we can, for example, take a look at the coal ore. I'm not sure. Coal ore might actually have a little less. Yeah, the coal ore has zero to two. And then there are some other stuff like diamond, for example. So if we take a look at the diamond ore right here, that's 213. You can see that this one has three and seven, for example. So you can change this however you would like. And then different amounts of, well, experience will drop after mining this block. So that's actually how easy it can be. Just for completion's sake, let's see if it works. All right, we find ourselves back in Minecraft. So let's just set down a few ore blocks and there you go. We get some experience when they drop. Now, what's very important here is that, of course, when you have the raw citrine, you would also get experience from smelting that. So keep that in mind when you basically add this to your ore block or any other block for that matter, right? It doesn't necessarily have to be an ore block. Maybe there's something else. Also remember that if you add this to a block that drops itself, then you would be able to basically just, you know, set it down, mine it, set it down, mine it, and just get basically unlimited amount of experience from that. So keep that in mind as well. And yeah, that's pretty much how easy it is to add some custom experience drops to your ore blocks. Right, but that would already be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. I also want to thank all of my lovely Patreon supporters for supporting me and this channel. It is very much appreciated and I'll see you in the next tutorial. So yeah.